हे गाइस वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ एस एस आई एस टूटोरियल सो टूडे वी गोना डिस्कस अबाउट डायनमिक कनेक्शन मैनेजर सो वॉट इज डायनमिक कनेक्शन मैनेजर सो डायनमिक कनेक्शन मैनेजर विल बी क्रिएटेड ऑटोमेटिकली लाइक वी कैन सी वी हैव ए सीनारियो वेयर वी हैव सिक्वल सोवर टेबल एंड वी वॉन्ट टू लोड द डेटा फ्रॉम सिक्वल सोवर टेबल टू अवर फ्लैट फाइव डेस्टिनेशन एंड हियर वी कैन सी we have flight file name with sale underscore 2018 which is our year then month then date then hour and then minute so we have this flight file once we run this flight file on 1054 our flight file name should be 10 underscore 54 dot txt file when our time will be changed then we need to run our package then it will automatically generate a new file with the new date and time so let's have a look of sql server table now we need to execute so as we can see it has total six column sell order number sell order date customer id quantity value and country so go to on ssdt to implement the package so here we need to create one more package so right click on this ssis package then new ssis package then i gonna rename this package with dynamic connection manager then we need to drag and drop data flow task after that we need to double click on this data flow task so it will directly move to data flow panel inside this data flow panel we need to configure our source so our source is oladb source so we need to drag and drop oladb source then we need to load data in our flat file this is our flat file destination so we can drag and drop now we need to configure our source so double click on this oladb source here we need to select the connection manager click on new here we have already made the connection so i gonna use that one so click on okay here we need to select the table so our table is cell info table so we can select and we can preview so we can see we are getting the data now go to on columns now we want all the column then click on okay so here we need to connect with destination now we need to configure our destination double click on this flat file destination then we need to select the flat file connection manager so i need to click on new then we want create delimited file we are okay with it so click on okay so here we need to select the file name so we can browse and here we want to generate file with the name of sale so we need to write sale then click on open columns name in the first data row so we can check this check box go to on columns so as we can see we are getting the all columns now click on okay then go to on mapping so mapping succeed now click on okay so once we run this package so it will generate a file with the name of sale so after some time once we run this package again then it will not going to create one more file with date and time so for that we need to create two variables so go to on variables so here i want to use for folder name so this is our folder name data type should be string so we can select string and then we need to specify the value so this is our folder path so we can copy and we need to paste that in our value and we can create one more variable with the name of file name and data type should be a string so we can select a string here i am not going to pass any hard code value so we want to generate the file name at run time so go to on expressions we can click on this here in this expression we need to write some code so first of all we need to write cell and here we can check so we are getting the cell cell then underscore then we need to concatenate sign which is plus then we want to get date and time so we can use get date for current date and time so this is our date time and cell underscore is our string so we need to convert so here we have to write dt underscore w s t r then we need to specify the size so i going to use 100 now i need to evaluate 
so once we evaluate then we can see we are getting the date and time but we want to fetch year then month then date hours and minute so i want to fetch only four characters from starting so sub string then we need to specify start value so we want to start from one then how many character we want four character so we can select four then close the bracket evaluate then we can see we are getting the data now we need to use underscore so we can again evaluate so we are getting the year now we need to configure for month so i am going to copy this code and then plus sign and paste that value this time we want to get the value from 6 and we want to get only two characters for month so as we can see we are getting 12 now again we need to specify our concatenate symbol which is plus then paste this code and this time we start from 9 and we want to get only two characters for date now go to and evaluate so we are getting 04 between this we need to use underscore so we can specify underscore now we can evaluate so as we can see we are getting year month and date now we need to get r so again we need to use underscore so this is our underscore then i gonna paste that value so this time we want to start from 12 and we want only two characters now we can evaluate and we can see we are getting the value this is for r now last time we need to use for minute so underscore concatenate symbol then paste that value so here we can see we are getting from 12 then we need to start from 15 and we need to use only two character so we can evaluate and we can see we are getting the minute as well now we need to use the file extension it should be txt file now we can evaluate and we are getting the value so we can ok so here this is our file name and this is our folder name so we have done it now we can save this package and go to one flat file connection manager then we need to press f4 to get the properties inside this property we can see we have expressions so click on this expression and here we have connection string so in this connection string we need to go on expressions then here we have folder path so we can drag and drop this folder path within expressions then we need to use concatenate symbol which is plus then we need to drag and drop this file name now we can click on evaluate so this is our folder path inside this folder our flat file name should be this and this flat file would be generated now click on ok again ok so as you can see time is 11 6 so i gonna run this package once we run this package then our file should be generated with the time 11 6 go to one folder so here we can see we are getting the file with 23 underscore 0 6 so this is our 11 6 so i gonna stop this package and again run this package when our time will be changed so as we can see time has been changed i gonna run this package one more time so click on start so new file should be generated go to one folder as we can see we got a new file so this is our dynamic connection manager so it will generate a new file on every execution if the time will be changed because it's dependent on time so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos thank you so much